Hey, welcome back to Snapple Games. My name is Max, and I'm back with another Bobber League, and I'm going to be playing some Blue Black Bay today. We have some unique choices in this list, so I'll get into those in a second. Real quick, going to shout out the channel, youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go to the channel and subscribe. It's really the best way to support me. Thank you so much. I record all my leagues live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Snapple Games, so you're more than welcome to come hang out live. And uh, let's get into this deck, why we're playing different cards in the standard build of Ubife, and then let's get into a league. So, again, this is one of the best decks in the format, Blue Black Bay. The biggest change that we're doing with this list compared to the standard build is we're not playing Augur of Bolas. The 2-mana 1-3, when it enters the battlefield, you look at the top three cards of your library, you can put them on the bottom in any order. We're just not playing that card. So, um, instead, what we're doing is, I originally titled this, this Brew 8 Ninja. We have four Ninja of the Deep Hours, three Moon Circuit Hacker. So I know it's seven Ninja now. I cut one Moon Circuit Hacker to just make room for the fourth cast down. But um, we still have seven Ninjas, which is way more than Blue Black Bay plays. I've seen even as low as like two, or sometimes they just play three Deep Hours, zero Moon Circuit. But we're going for the full seven Ninja. And then we're also playing Fairy Miscreant. So we have a much higher creature count than a standard version of Blue Black Bay. So we don't even really have enough spells for Augur, but also we just have cheaper fairies to ninja more often. Um, so this is kind of a mashup of Mono Blue Fae and Blue Black Fae. So we're basically Mono Blue Fae with the good black removal spells. I kind of wanted to play this list today just because Snuff Out just seems so broken in the format. It's just the best removal spell. Zero mana, kill any creature is just so strong. Um, and this seems essentially like the best shell to utilize this card. Um, it's just so good with ninjas, so good at protecting the monarch. Um, then you also get cast down, which is two mana, kill anything. Um, so this, this list looks really nice to me. Um, you don't have to worry about missing on Augur. Let's see what else. We got the old border preordains. I'm excited to cast these some more. Uh, we don't have as many fetch lands. Usually I would play like one more fetch, but I wanted more untapped blue sources for these fairies. Um, another reason why I wanted to play this list is I've been playing some blue-white fey, and it's been pretty strong for me. Um, and then I was thinking, well, I really want to play a snuff out deck, but I really like in blue-white fey that I've been playing. I don't play any cantrips. I play basically no spells in that deck. You can go check out the list on my channel. But it's basically just like always committing to the board. And I was like, well, what if I kind of do that similar style, but in blue black Fey, where sure we have some spells here, but we're more often committing to the board early and then going for ninjas backed up by removal. So that's kind of the game plan here. Sideboard is pretty similar to other blue black Fey lists I've played. Um, Ambusher actually seems like a sweet card since we have eight one drop fairies in this deck. Uh, a couple copies of fumes, let's not cut one. A second chainers edict. Oh, we gotta, we gotta. I just noticed this. There's so many old border, old border versions now that sometimes some of my lists have other versions, like other non old border before. Um, but I like to play like as many old border as I can. So yeah, we got the old border chainers edict. This chainers edict in the main could be a suffocating fumes. I'm not sure what's better, or we could cut one cast down for a main deck fumes. But I'm gonna go with this really straightforward, like mostly for a build here. Um, and Thorn is just, again, so strong in this list. Everything else on the sideboard is pretty standard. Let's just get right into round one. Let's go. All right. Welcome to round one. We're against Baladin. Would you like to play first? Yes. Um, sure. Same looks fine. Maybe we stutter something on two if we're lucky. Maybe we Chainer's Edict. Get a Thorn going. Opponent Mulligans to five. Good one. Yeah, I'll just go back and just do an entire deck tech again. You can always catch it on YouTube. Show. <laughs> I think I was muted, but I think I am no longer muted. <laughs> All right. We'll just pass. Hopefully they play a one drop. I just stutter it. If not, I can go for end of turn stutter, untap moon circuit. Oh, let's go. Sure, they can just like bolt this, but I'm going to go for it. No reason not to. Okay, they get their preordain. We can just tap out for Thorn on turn four. It's going to be great. Another land. I'm debating whether I should just play Moon Circuit Hacker here. 
feel like I should because otherwise, hmm. It also for it, it tempts them to kill it right now, and then I can untap and resolve Thorn. But if I just pass mana up, they pass the mana up. Then I play Thorn, they go island counter it. So I think I'm just gonna go land, play Moon Circuit Hacker. Getting the hit and loot is still pretty decent. I think I just play it. Fire Ice. Yeah, perfect. So now I can just, they'll probably go tap land and then I just untap and slam Thorn. If they don't have a Monarch creature, then I just kind of start to run away with it. Monarch is pretty dumb. Because now it's so hard for them. If they don't have a Monarch creature that they can resolve, it's so hard for them to ever take the Monarch. I Chainers did it the first creature they play. Then they have to play another creature. Then I'm drawing extra cards, so they can't even really, like, um, you know, ever get back a bug. Because once I have this first removal spell to do with their first creature, and then I draw extra cards, I'll probably draw into more removal. So, yeah, Monarch pretty dumb. I think this would be a better format without Monarch. Yeah, they just concede to Monarch. Okay. So now we can go Duress, Hydro, Dispel, Relic. All these cards are great. Shinobi is great. Stormbound Geist is great. We have a lot of good sideboard cards here. Could probably go like this. Could probably board out all the miscreants because they're going to have a lot of removal in their deck too. And we're fine, like, the game's going to slow down a lot post board, so we're fine to just go a little bit slower. We're siding out a lot of creatures as well, and we're siding in another ninjutsu creature, so we can certainly side out some ninjas. <clears throat> maybe one fairy seer, maybe one more removal spell. Hey, penguin. Pika Penguin, thanks for saying that. Love it when people come through or my opponents say they like the, the videos. It really uh, really makes my day. Let's see. I can cut one snuff out, but I'm already down to six removal spells here. I guess triple hydro is kind of a lot too, but I think it's good. They're going to have red removal spells and they're going to have pyroblast. It's kind of a lot of targets. Could cut one fairy seer, but that's a good way to get my ninjas going. I don't have that many other ways to do that. I can cut one preordain. I just don't really want to cut any more creatures. I'll just cut one preordain. Kind of weird, but twenty the old twenty twenty twenty. Nice. Blue Black Fae is just such a strong archetype in general, and this seems like a pretty cool version of it. Look at these old borders. Looks great. Opponent mulligans to six. Did they mulligan to five in game one? They did. Yeah, that's also why they just conceded. Fairy Seer first, Pruding on turn two. All right, we're just top topping here. Um, I'll just get the island first. Probably going to preordain on two, but they preordain. Now we draw island. Let's just go play island, attack for one, and then preordain, leave up hydro or dispel. We're going to have to top the swamp, but still worth it to play the preordain, I think. I think we don't need this island though. Okay, pass. I like our position this game as well. Cleansing wildfire themselves. Definitely like to try to hydro cleansing wildfire. They have the dispel backup, but still we we get them to use a dispel. Not too bad. Also, if we get in top deck like a ninja here, but well, that was a good top deck. Just gonna jam. Cause now we like resolving this is so much better than 
you know, casting it into open mana because once it's resolved, it's basically going to be a two for one. Ooh, that was good too. Little flooded on removal spells and in interaction here, but obviously it's still going to be pretty good. Darkest Magic, what's up? And we're just beating down. If they just tap out from Old Drifter, I can just kill it. Third snuff. This is kind of what I was worried about. What I was like, maybe I should set out one more removal spell. But, I mean, they're not going to be able to keep any creatures in play, so... They're hitting land drops and we're not. That's the problem. Duress. Let's attack first and then main two will duress. See what we're up against. Love this art on duress. Could play snow covered lands. It would be give us a slight advantage, but um, I just like these lands, so I'm just playing them. Fire the Stormbound Geist. I think I go for Dispel here, and if they want to counter, that's fine. Pyro? I feel like there's no way they don't have any more spells. I feel like they're going to. Late to dinner, Ephemerate, Bolt. They have no creatures right now, though. Like, if I just take Bolt, and they draw, like... Counterspell, Fire Ice, Cleansing Wildfire, Dispel, Pyro. I guess Pyro is okay. I think I just take Bolts because also then if they draw, if they miss one turn and I draw a land for this, I just win the game. Plus, Ephemerate I'm not going to take because I have all these snuff outs. So, yeah, they concede. Wow. Okay, well, that was a quick one. Stack strong. Let's go round two. All right, 1 0. Oh, we got the old order for your Danes. We're against new D. <laughs> Would you like to play first? Yes. Snap key. Ten looks great. I said, hey, Snap. What's up? Okay, another counter and a miscreant. I don't think I need miscreant, but I think I do want counter. Seems great. We can just go like turn two island go, turn three terramorphic go, and just start countering everything. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I can also cycle an Asheron's end of turn if I don't need to counter. If we're against Affinity, I'll just counter like anything pretty much. Like an Icker Wellspring definitely. There's there's a lot that I will counter for sure. I'm not gonna cycle Ashburn's end of turn. If they just pass here, because then they could just gal blast my thing. I guess that that would be fine, right? I guess it's fine. If they want to gavel at this, I can just get Island here. And then I could always go Island, play another Fairies here next turn. Nice, and it worked out for us. Let's attack for one. I think I want to play Island Fairies here rather than Terramorphic for Swamp, because I can't really play Angler quite yet anyway. Let's just start getting the beats going while holding up counter. Snuff out and ice tunnel. I think I'm gonna draw the snuff out next turn. Seems good against this. Great furnace. This could still be goblins. Guess it's black red burn. I'm not entirely sure. Just gonna counter. This is just a good enabler for their madness stuff. Now that it's pro now that I, I thought it was affinity, now that it's probably black red burn, I wish I wasn't drawing snuff out, but I can also just hard cast it potentially.
I'll just attack for two. And then I'll crack Terramorphic for Swamp later. Galv Blast Us resolves. I don't want to counter their madness enablers. Could have countered that Gal Blast in order to get Gurmag down more easily, but didn't take that line. So I have to tap four lands to play Gurmag right now. It might be worth it to just tap out for Gurmag and then we'll have counter spell up later. Puts a quick clock on them. I think I'm going to do it. They have to like double spell usually to kill Gurmag if they want to do that. And they likely can't kill us quite yet. Be surprised if they just go like burn spell, burn spell, burn spell. It's just so hard for them to deal 16 on four mana. I mean, it looks like they might do it. They need triple burn spell this turn. And then if they don't have it, I have a much faster clock and I untap with counter spell. As long as I don't die right now. Okay, well that's annoying. I go to seven. I have a counter though. They have three cards in hand. I kind of feel like attack with all is good because then it puts them on a two turn clock rather than a three. And they attack me down to five, but then they still need triple burn spell to kill me because I can counter one of the burn spells. So then they might just have to stay back with Kitchen Imp. So I'm going to go for the race. Don't love my position, but I do like the fact that we tapped out for the Gurmag. I think that was good. Yeah, they definitely can't play Fire Blast. Oh, man. I feel like this is too good and I need to counter it. Because they're gonna get madness payoffs from this. And they don't really have enough mana to flash it back. I just can't let them like get such so much value right now. I guess now they can just attack double burn spell, but if they had that, would they have gone for looting right now? They probably need the madness enabler. They tap out for alms, but they go to 10. Then they hit me down to 2. Okay, I'm in trouble. Spell Thitter. We're strong on the deck. So now I can attack for 5, or I can attack for 6. I mean, they probably have a burn spell at this point. Because if I didn't counter looting, then they just play alms for one mana. They also get to draw towards more burn spells. Uh, I just felt like I had to counter the looting. Flashback looting. They just need any madness payoff here. Kitchen Imp does not do it quite yet. We get triple hydro. We get Dispel, we can switch, oh, they have the Temper. All right, they got us. We got a lot of sideboard though. This is a definitely a close matchup. All right. Maybe I even want the Shinobi as well. Probably not because they can be kind of hellbent a lot. So let's go Ambushers. I think all of these snuff out comes out. Chainer's Edict is like not that bad, but it's also not that good. Stormbound guy seems good. It can block Kitchen Imp 
and it's just hard for them to deal with. Thorn is pretty risky. Can set out like a couple ninjas. I think I want to keep in all my one drop berries to try to maximize my like early ambushers. Chainers Edict seems okay, but the fact that they have Epicure makes it worse. This looks good to me. Do I want to change anything else? Wait, what are you saying? That I'm playing your am I playing your friend right now? Do I want Shinobi over like a second go down to two preordain? Let's just try it like this. Hmm. I think this hand is a keep. It's really close. The problem is I'm on the play. I'm going turn one ice tunnel. Then if I don't draw land, I'm just going turn two miscreant. That's it. But I have so much to do. And then I get to go miscreant draw on turn three to try to hit a land. I think I should just mulligan. Just try to have a, a better hand that can curve out. Eat this. I think we just put back cast down hydro here. This hand's obviously not good. We're also on five, so it's gonna be tough, but we'll try to fight. Classic, like have like a not very good um seven, and then your six has zero land, so you have to go to five, and then you just feel like you got wrecked and you should have kept your bad seven. That's why I just don't like to mulligan in general like when you have like reasonable hands but that first one i think was just a little bit too far it's not like that was a bad mulligan we were like hoping to do something on turn three and if we didn't draw land immediately and the opponent had to have basically nothing they're just doing nothing oh man this is awkward just gonna pass. I don't think I need to just play out Miscreant yet. They might play like a one drop end of turn here or something. They do nothing. Fodder tosser. I think I need to flash in Sutter right now just to get something going. Gurmag Angler. Definitely in trouble. It's just a bad five here. Not that much we can do. Now this is just so good for them. It's just like a good discard outlet that deals us additional damage. <laughs> I don't think New Deed needs to do that much more in order to win this game. They're already so far ahead. Over here, I'm just like struggling to cast any spells. Yeah, the Madness deck is really strong. I need I need to play this deck through a league for sure. Just having fun with these uh, Bay decks right now. Voltas. We draw an uncastable. They're at 22 with four cards in hand and tosser. I'd say our percent chances of winning this game is like below 5%, like 2%. I don't know. This is going to be tough. They just have this too. We're at 12. How can we like, even if we drew like Ambusher and it didn't die, 
We still might lose. Definitely want to just cast down this. I want to spend spend mana and get closer to this. We also need to draw Island to cast this. It's just like everything is just so hard. They go alms. See, like this deck is sweet because when you go like cycle blood token, you're basically going like two mana for drain three draw card when you have that like combo. It's really good. We're at eight. I think we need to run them out of gas somehow, counter something with the spell right here, and then draw like an ambusher and have the ambusher survive. That's the only way we can win. We'll go cast down the Epicure. Reanimator's not that good. No, there has been like a blue white or an Esper Reanimator deck that some people have been 5-0ing with, but it's mostly like a control, like a Femorate deck that plays some late late to dinners. It's not really a reanimator like deck that you would expect from other formats. There's just only exhume for a cheap reanimation spell. GG's. That was just bad mulligans there. That was just some variants. Alright. Let's go round three. One and one. Two quick uh, matches so far. We'll see everyone there. All right, round three, we're against Tinkmaster. Six land thorn. I can't quite keep that. I'll keep this, though. I think I'm just going to put back one of these preordains. And then I'm going to lead Ice Tunnel. Then turn two, I'll play Island. Leave up counter. Turn three, I'll play Ice Tunnel. Blue White Bridge. Tinkmaster has a lot of cool brews. Now I think I want to go Preordain Ice Tunnel, most likely, because of Razor Tide Bridge. It's probably just like Jeskai Ephemerate or something. I kind of need a fourth untapped land as well. Don't know if I need this ninja, though, right now. Don't have any of the enablers yet. It's just bottom. Could bottom this land, too. I might naturally draw another land anyway. I'm going to bottom. Nice. Now we'll go Ice Tunnel. And then next turn we can go like Evolving Wilds, leave up counter, and then maybe turn four, Slam Thorn if they're tapped out. Okay. Some Brew with Modern Age and maybe Deep Analysis. Discard a Preordain. I can Slam Moon Circuit, but I think I would rather just leave up counter. But I'm going to play Evolving Wilds to leave myself the ability to play a turn 4 Thorn. This card's second copy of the Modern Age. Bing. Oh, it's Blue White Evoke? It's a nice counter this might be a bad matchup for us evoke has a really good matchup against the blue black blue black bay <laughs> all right i'm slamming thorn though so now they get a two three flyer i can cast down that though Assuming they don't have a counter spell. Razor Tide Bridge. Why are they playing artifacts? That is what I don't really understand. They could be playing Jeskai Evoke and they don't have a red land right now. But then why are they playing the Modern Age too? They're definitely playing Evoke, 100%. All right, let's lead on Preordain. Spell Stutter Sprite. At worst case, I can just flash that in to chump this. 
if my cast down doesn't resolve, I could be a little greedy and go bottom bottom and then go for attack. They're not going to block and then I moon circuit back my thorn. If they end up taking the monarch, then I can just replay thorn. I think I'm on a bottom bottom here. Preordain. I think I want to attack and moon circuit. Let's do that. Maybe you should have played island first. It's kind of unclear. Spells better sprite anyway. I think I'm going to go Island Preordain, and then on their upkeep, I'm going to go for Cast Down Vector Glider. Ninja of the Deep Hours. I think I actually want that. I already have this in play that I could ninja back, and I have other stuff to ninja. Let's go bottom, top, and then we'll go for the Cast Down on their upkeep. Counterspell. It's a good one. They have Dispel. Interesting. I wouldn't have had enough mana to also leave up spells that are anyway. They don't attack to take the Monarch? Holy crap. Was that a mistake? They discard Mornwalk. Their Esper Evoke with Bridge? Wow. play Ash Barons. I want to have counter and spell that are up, which is why I played Ash Barons. Chain Resedict you. Counter spell. I'll counter their counter. And then I'll attack and loot. Pass. Another counter is basically our best draw at this point. If they have a late to dinner, it's going to be pretty rough. I guess they're just, oh, I guess they're just playing like a version of the Esper Reanimator deck with Renewal. That kind of makes sense. Do I flash and stutter? And then I could attack with both and Ninja. I think I'm going to do it. Get to utilize my mana as well. I also can go, if I draw a land, I can go flashback Chainer's Edict right now. We don't. Let's attack with both. They get to eat one creature, but then I get a nin Ninja of the Deep Hours hidden if they don't have a cast down. They do. All right, well, I get blown out. So maybe this was a bad line. have two cards left. Let's just go cast Miscreant. Cast Ninja of the Deep Hours. Counterspell. Cast down. They take the Monarch, I assume. Yep. But then I can play this. If they don't have third counter spell, I get to take the monarch back. Counter, nice. Thorn. Pass. They can take the monarch here, but then I can likely take it back, especially since I have this counter spell. This is a good game. Modern Age is doing work. But I do have a Chainer Zeke in the yard as well, which is pretty strong. Tap land. Okay. I think I'm going to go for Moon Circuit on my Thorn. Counter. Another thorn, nice. 
Maybe I just go for deep hours here. Get that down. It's usually better to moon circuit first. I'm gonna do it. Take the monarch, draw. Fairy Seer plus Monarch is really strong too. Nice, there's stuff out. I think I'll bottom top. And then on my end step, I'll just, I guess I can just snuff out this on their upkeep is better. Nice. Now we protect the Monarch. We have two creatures in play. They cast Bull Drifter, okay. We're drawing a random card. Snuff out, it's really good. I'm just gonna snuff out for life. And then I'm gonna go attack with both. I'm gonna ninja this ninja and then ninja the fairies here, I think. Just full value here. Draw two. Miscreant and cast down. Go fairies here, see what we scry into. Another miscreant I want. Nice. Just starting to run away with it here. Snuff out for zero mana is just so good. And they haven't had a reanimate spell yet. The time we counter on that renewal was huge. I wonder why they're playing bridges over just normal duels. I wonder if there's any synergy or if they're just doing it. Molly D. Well, I can kill that. Just gonna do it before the draw in case they have second dispel main. Okay, nice. Monarch too strong yet again. No surprise there. All right, duress, relic. Shinobi. Dispel. Could have some Stormbound Geists as well, but they have Soul of Migration. I think I board like this. I board out Miscreant a lot, but I think it's still fine to have in the deck. And here's why, because post board, people are gonna have more answers for your for your creatures. They don't wanna keep getting hit by ninjas. You can't really board out one Miscreant. Um, you either have to have four in your deck or zero. So I think um, boarding out a lot of them while when it gets harder to trigger the miscreants post board is a good strategy um, which is why I set them out a lot. I also have a ton of removal spells but I kind of need it because if they ever get like a soul of migration down I can't let them flicker it. I can't let them flicker a moly D. I could board out like a removal spell Maybe I don't need Chainer's Edict. Maybe it's worse than my instance. Do I want Stormbound Geist? Or do I even want like one copy of Fumes because they have Soul of Migration? I think I do. Yeah, let's do this. Do I also want to board out a Ninja? Or like one Stormbound Geist or a second Fumes. Or play one copy of Chainer's Edict. Seven ninjas is kind of a lot for the creatures that I have in my deck. Especially I have another ninja here. Can play the fourth cast down. I think I want to play another creature. This looks good. Let's try it.
See if we can take down Tink here. All right, well, this draw is incredible. Turn one fairy zero, turn two ninja if they don't have anything. Also, the fact that they're playing, they're playing um, the artifact lands means they cannot have snuff out in their deck, because otherwise they would play ice tunnel. Like, why do they have have the artifacts? I I know those are those lands are indestructible, so maybe against Ponza, but then you open yourself up to like artifact exile, so I don't really get that. Maybe it's just for fun. Another fairy series, not necessarily bad, because if they kill this one, I might want a second. It's pretty close here. I think I can bottom it, though. It's kind of greedy to bottom. And a top top. If they just go, like, swamp, cast down, I'm really going to want another fairy seer. Modern age. Okay. Discard Mornwelk. All right, I think I just hit with Moon Circuit and replay Fairy Seer here. Again, it's usually better to play Moon Circuit first because I can ninja this again. Plus, it costs one mana, so I get to replay Fairy Seer. It's just all good stuff. I'll take a snuff out, but I don't think I need the swamp. I already can hit two more land drops. Like they have to have two or three copies of Late Dinner in their, you know, 60 in their starting deck. Almost 100% they have that. I'm feeling good though now, drawing snuff out. They need to do something like this turn. They discard land, cycle for swamp, cast down the ninja. We just ninja again though. Just ninja right now, see what we draw. Probably gonna go Island Fairies here because I can always go Ice Tunnel, snuff out next turn. Oh yeah, now I'm definitely gonna play this. I want the Scry this turn to set up my future draws and I can still play a removal spell by playing Ice Tunnel next turn and setting up this other ninja. So this just makes so much sense. Late to dinner, Mornwalk. All right, that's good. So I can discard Fairy Seer Preordain here. I want all my other cards. Now I go Ice Tunnel, snuff out your Vector Glider, hit with Ninja, leave up Dispel. They only have two cards left. So even though we got Mornwell, we still have four cards in hand. I'm gonna leave up Dispel rather than playing the Fairy Seer here, I think. They could easily have an ephemerate. Discarding lands, play a land, one card in hand. We do have a lot of cast downs in our deck. Let's see if we can find them. That's really good. All right, let's go top, top. And then I think I'm actually just going to play Gurmag Angler. I'm actually going to put the Counterspell before the cast down. Just seems worth it to get this down. Sure, I don't have Stutter Up, but I have Dispel Up, and I get to play my 5-5. Five five. What's up, Jay? They go to 17. But we're just so far ahead on board. We're drawing Counterspell, and then we're going to draw Cast Down after that. That's just so good. I still like drawing the Counterspell first, I think. Our Kalemancer, get back late to dinner. It's annoying. I'm drawing Counter, though. All right, just attack for one. Oh, I guess I can attack with Gurmag, too. They can't. I thought they could double walk for a second, but they can't. So now I just have triple interaction up. I'm drawing cast down. 
They have late to dinner in hand. So now I just attack with these. If they go for double block on Gurmag, I just basically crush them. Oh, whoops. That was just a mistake. I shouldn't have attacked with fairies here. It was a huge mistake. I was I forgot that they had this. God damn it. So they have late to dinner. Ah, that, that was brutal by me. I'm just gonna cast down this. I want to keep this in play for spell setter. I just made a really big mistake. I should have cast down this and then. Wait, actually, I go for stutter here. I think. Their last card's late to dinner. Just made a made a bad play there, but we're still looking okay. Pretty ordain. It's pretty scary. They don't have any creatures in yard to late to dinner right now. They're at six. So they're gonna have to start chumping uh the zombie fish. Just attacked right into that. <laughs> Whoops. They bottom bottom with preordain. It's a good sign for us. Other so hand is wait to dinner plus unknown card. Okay, looks like successfully recovered from my mistake. Draw an old border period in, that's gas. Bottom of these lands. I guess I don't play this yet. I could attack with everything. Because they kind of have to block this. I'm going to counter late to dinner anyway. So if they go like block Mornwilk on Ninja, Archaeomancer on Gurmag, they still take four, go to two. I get to draw a card. They can't double block ninjas. Yeah, it seems great. Yeah. Well, they did draw Ephemerate. But they're at two, we draw a card, and their hand is late to dinner, we have a counter. So they're gonna have to really do something to get out of this. If they draw counter spell exactly, maybe they survive, but even then it's gonna be tough. Made one mistake, but didn't end up costing. Didn't end up costing us, but cool deck from the opponent at three evoke with the modern age. I like it. GG's. Two and one. Let's go round four. All right. We are playing in round four against Tarmogoyf Ida. We've played against Goyf uh, a couple times. A couple times. Really nice opponent. Um, they play a lot of elves. They've played a lot of Ponza in the past. They've played a lot of Stompy as well. They make content as well, so go check out Tarmogoyf Itta. Um, and let's uh, see if we can take them down. Would you like to play first? Yes. Hand's a little clunky, but I'm going to keep. Have a lot of removal spells. We'll see what uh, Goyf is on today. They're deciding if they're going to keep. Yeah, I said it's been a long time since you played. They said, yeah, it's been a long time. All good, friend. Let's go. Ice Tunnel Pass. I think I've played Tarmogoy Ida twice. And I think I'm 2-0 in our matchups, but I could be wrong. I was going to buy these. They were like a dollar each. And uh, they're cool and everything, but it's not really my style. So I was thinking I'm never going to play these. 
So I just didn't buy them. The old Border Prudane's more my style. Paid a lot more than one for those two. <laughs> they go bottom top. Ninja. Right, I'm just going to pass here. We can go for end of turn spell stutter potentially. I'm going to do it. They can counterspell it if they want. Okay, I like that. I'm going to go for Ninja here. And then if they snap this, I'll just play a Miscreant. Wow, we just hit? Wasn't really expecting to hit there. Another land, perfect. I guess I could get spell centered here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I F6. <laughs> I F6. <sighs> God damn. <laughs> oh, man, that was brutal. I should have had a miscreant in play. God, it feels so bad. I just lost a miscreant for no reason. I just discarded it. I did not need to. Everybody makes mistakes, huh? I was just playing a little bit too fast. I just f 6 when I shouldn't have. Man, those mistakes feel so bad. I'm surprised that Goyf is playing Blue Black Bay. I usually see them on other decks when they post. Four cards in hand for them. Like, it matters so much having that miscreant in play because I can't even counter two drops with this now. Or if they play a one drop and I play this, they can play a removal spell on this in response and I don't have another fairy. It matters like so much, so, so much. Nothing I can do now though. Expelleramus, first of all, great name. Expelleramus. Uh, but yeah, just trying without augers here. See how it works out. Like my spell setter is gonna get killed. But I think I cast it. Force them to have to play a counter or a removal spell, I mean. Dang. They're at 14. I have five mana right now. Can play a sixth land. I probably just let them try and then I'll just cast down this right now, I think. Guess I'll cast down the Augur. They could have spells that are sprite here as well. If, if they do, we're just blown out. Like, the whole game changes if I didn't make that earlier misplay. These small mistakes in magic can just, like, change the entire game. Like, now if they if they have a ninja and they go ninja replay fairy seer, I can just go flashback edict, but then they just retain ninja in play. I punted this game. I punted this game away. I feel like I should have been able to win. <sighs> Feels bad. It's one F6 too many. So in the sideboard, we have double stormbound geist. We can bring in some fumes, maybe the shinobi. Maybe the dispel. Guess we keep trying for now. Maybe we get lucky and can come back somehow.
Dang. Okay. Thorn, oh, no, just cast Ninja. Okay. All right. Just that small mistake, just it, like these mistakes in magic like that, you make one small mistake, it just compounds over the game every turn. It just keeps mattering more and more. It's just so crazy. All right. Geist's coming in. I think this spell is good. I don't think we need to rest. I think Shinobi is good. It's just such a big threat. We can just do like this. We can have double fumes, I guess. They might also have fumes. Do I want any number of duress? I don't really think so. All right. And again, I'll just try to learn from that mistake. Just be more cognizant playing this deck when I may have snuff out to not F6. It says you won the die roll. It's like, does it always say that? For games two, does it really say that? Well, this hand's really good. Well, if one of these was an island, it would be better, but... Let's go bottom top. <laughs> Do we want any number of duress? We want zero duress. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely going to just hit with Ninja here, 100%. They don't have a swamp in play. I can get my card out of it. I get to rebuy my fairy seer scry. It's just worth a hundred percent. Yeah, I need to try to play more carefully, but see if we can come back and win the match. See if we can not get punished. It wasn't even for sure that we were going to win that game even if I didn't make that mistake. Obviously, we would have been in a much, much better position, but it's like pretty impossible to say. I want a fairy here now to set up my draw in case I can draw. I think I want one of these to draw the island. Wow, right, we get to hit twice. They don't have snuff out. It's like incredible for us. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this. Wow. Bottom, top. I'm just pulling ahead here. Like if they just go like Augur tap land or something, it's not that scary. Cast down, sure. I could also, I can also Shinobi right now. Or I can Ninja. Plus play a bunch more fairy suitors. So tempting to Shinobi while they can't cast down it. But Ninja is pretty tempting too. Plus I get to replay multiple fairy seers. I guess I only get to replay one fairy seer because of my mana. It is tempting to Shinobi. I'll do it. Also, this threatens like another hit next turn. They can't cast out, they can't snuff out this. So I get the two cards right now. They have to cast down it. And then I set myself up to Ninja next turn. And if they don't deal with this next turn, I just basically win the game. Yeah, these are these are pretty sick. We have our forests right here. They play island. But again, this cannot be snuff out. 
play Stormbound, guys. That does not block Shinobi. They're in trouble. I'm just going to attack. Make you discard two. Play Triple Fairy Seer, most likely. Discard spells that are sprite Ash Barons. Enough. I think I'm fine drawing that. Like, what else do I really want to draw? I could also just play around fumes by only playing two of these fairy seers. I think I'm gonna do that. Save the save the fourth one. Also, it looks like we have spells that are sprite now. For what that's worth. I'm gonna play a Gurmag Angler. Oh, Thorn. That's an incredibly greedy Thorn, but they might not have any option. They just probably don't have another play to make. Yeah, they don't. Oh, yeah, I can cast down that. Okay. Okay. We need to win game three in order to not be punished for the mistake game one. But again, we may have lost game one anyway. It's tough to say. I think our build looks good. Two fumes is kind of a lot of fumes, but I think it's solid. Definitely want four snuff out, four cast down. Might even want a chainer's edict, especially on the draw. I can cut like one ninja of the deep hours for a chainer's edict, or I can cut more moon circuits because spell fitters and fairy seers trade for those. They're not as strong. Let's do one chainers on the draw. It's good as the game goes long too to flash back sometimes. Yeah, Shinobi just won us that game. Just ratted them. All right, I'm keeping this. I have Fairies here preordain. I just need to find lands, but with both of those, I should be able to. Do they have the Seer or preordain? This preordain is so sick. Bottom, top. I really just want to draw all lands, basically. I might even need to get Swamp here, which is kind of unfortunate. Because then I can't preordain. I could get Greedy and go Ash Barons for Island, preordain. And then try to find Black Swords later. I think that's what I need to do, actually. I'm going to do it. Because if I just preordain with Island, I could easily get stuck with Ashburns in my hand. Try to find lands. Nice. Perfect. Snuff out the fairy seer. That would be so greedy if they did it during blocks. It's not even that greedy because I do get my second island down. So I get to hit like my other land drop guaranteed that turn. Um, sure, I risk not being able to cast my black spells, but I think it is the line. Okay, so now I play Ice Tunnel and I can threaten a four drop next turn. Plus I get to leave up to spell here. And I'll probably cycle fumes at the end of their turn. I can just I I can just draw more gas and more lands and more more good stuff. Seems solid. Preordain. Resolves. Like who has the better preordain? Come on. This is sick. <laughs> These are really expensive, so I hope they uh, go up in value. I think I thought they might. They preordain bottom bottom. And they don't play a land, so they have seven spells in hand. I 
I'm cycling fumes. Cast down. That's a good draw. I'm definitely not going for a four drop with nothing else. So I'm just gonna play, I'm just gonna attack for one, play Ice Tunnel Pass, then I have cast down Dispel Up. I feel like I'm in a fantastic position in this game. I feel like my hand's good. And the fact that they missed a land drop is kind of bad for them as the game keeps going. If they hit a land drop right now, they're going to be fine because they have so much gas, but still like our position. They did play a tap land as well, so I can go Shinobi with the Dispella. The only thing that really answers this is like a cast down, and then I can Dispel that. I mean, I think I'm just going to do it. This can't be Snuff Out, so... Yeah, I'm going to go for Shinobi with the spell up. It's just so much value. It's a little risky to go for anything, but I think it's the play. Wow, we're just hitting. I'm not going to replay fairies here because they could easily have spell flutter sprite. So I'm just going to pass. I cycled fumes there because the way they're playing, it feels like it's going to be a long time until they play something I want to fumes. I have a lot of other things to do with my mana. I'm not really going to be able to hold three mana up for that long. I'm sure this is good in the matchup, but I'd rather draw a card now, hit more land drops, get more other spells. I can draw, like, snuff out. I can draw more cast downs. I can draw counter spell. All of these are good to have, too. So I can essentially keep my gas going, keep my cards flowing by cycling fumes there. I think it's definitely worth. Because, look, even now, I have no targets to fumes. They just missed with auger. Wow. So now I'm going to go cast down this, try to keep hitting with Shinobi. They don't have an answer for this. They're just done. Counterspell. So I think I just dispel this. I could let it resolve. And then cast down again. But I think just dispel it is what I want to do. I have four cards in grave, or five cards in graveyard. I can also tap out for Gurmag Angler. I should do that, right? I'm gonna do it. That leaves me in such a good position, especially with this other cast down. Wow, they discard Sprite Counterspell. That's so bad for them. And we put another card in the yard with that fumes by cycling to, otherwise we couldn't have cast with Gurmag Angler. Just looks good. Hey, thanks for the question, Jay. That, that was a good uh, moment to explain why I was cycling fumes there. I like to really explain my thought process. They say GG's, okay, <laughs> GG's. Our draws were really good game two and three. We just won both of those games off Kenobi. So I, I punted game one in the mirror and then ended up not getting punished and winning the match. Three and one. I am the classic 4-1 player. I don't 5-0 that much, but I 4-1 a lot. So let's see if we can make that happen again here. Let's go for the fifth and final round. All right, welcome to the fifth and final round against Horse Duck. I'm going to keep this. Hand looks solid. Turn two ninja here. This deck also turns two ninjas much more than uh, the usual build of blue black fight because you have eight one drops. Mountain. Is it mono red burn or is it black red burn? I guess basic non snow island is kind of good here compared to snow island because now they're like, okay, he has to be mono blue fey with with these two cards but we're not so what about some upside for non snowlands 
cast down. This could be like mostly Rakdos and not Black Red Burn. Interesting. Just gonna get Island here. I felt like it was worth it to just get a tap land out of the way. Oh, it's Jund? Uh oh. We don't have a good tempo draw, and Jund has a really good late game, so I don't really like our spot. We're in trouble. If they just go like land Thorn here. Still could be mostly Rakdos, but I think it's just straight Jund. Just have a pretty bad draw. Not tapping out for Ninja. There's no way it survives. Just keep playing tap lands. We'll have untap lands for the rest of the game. At least for any relevant turns. They're just doing nothing. Counterspell. That's a good draw. Maybe when I get to six mana, I'll play a ninja, and then they'll kill it, I'll let it die, and then keep holding up counter. But for now, boarding party here. Okay. See what the cascade is. You always see what the cascade is, then you can counter either spell. So now we just counter the pack mate. Then we snuff out the boarding party. Because pack mate draws a card. And I'll probably tap out for Ninja at this point. Cast down. Again, not loving our position, but if we get lucky, we can win. Too bad they didn't boarding party into a cast down or a chain edict or anything that we don't care about there. They hit a creature that cantrips. So they two for one dust with the boarding party. Raw farm. It's just straight Jund with Bounce Lands. I wonder if they even have Cleansing Wildfire. I mean, they have to, right? Whoa. They're not playing a removal spell right now. Maybe they'll play it on like a bolt on our upkeep. Maybe they have multiple bolts. Yeah. Oh, Pulse of Marasa. Get back to boarding party. I'm going to like think for a second because I don't want to like let them know that I don't have a counter. Thermag Angler, great draw. Wow, cannot believe that ninja hit. Miscreant. All right, so I can go land, pay two mana for Gurmag. and then play a Miscreant. Maybe we can come back here. It's just straight Jund boarding party. They should, I mean, they've shown they don't have Bolt yet, but they should still tap like this. Boarding party into Cannonade. Jeez. It's actually not that good. I maybe should have exiled less cards with this Gurmag, but I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to cast down this boarding party. Racer's Rain. Yeah, it looks like they might be non-cleansing wildfire Jund. Maybe they also have it. They just randomly didn't draw one of their like 10 balance land or 10 indestructible lands. All right, I'm going to Fairy Seer, then Ninja back my Gurmag, then replay Gurmag most likely. I feel like one of these has got to be good enough, but maybe I want more like gas, like more card draw. I feel like it's got to be good enough. I can barely recast the Gurmag. I should have, I should have tapped a couple more mana for it last time I played it. Made made a couple pretty big mistakes this league so far, actually. See if they dino here. It's possible I was supposed to just top top on both those snuff outs. 
penumbra spider, okay? Commodore. Whoa, that is a greedy Commodore. They could also have a bolt, I guess. Ninja. So do I pay life for this? I'm going to attack with everything. They're going to Penumbra Spider block Ninja. And I'm going to Moon Circuit back Fairy Seer replay. I think I can pay mana for this. I might be able to take the Monarch and protect it. Oh! Damn it. That was just a misclick. I thought I was one, one step less. Oh no, now I can't replay this either. Oh my god. <laughs> I would have drawn an extra card too and replayed this. Had, had this back to block. Damn it. Oh my god. All right, let's just pass. Thorn. <sighs> Feels so bad. Packmate. I paid the mana because I didn't really want to pay the life, and I felt like most likely I was not going to need to utilize all my mana that turn, which I wouldn't have. Now I'm just getting ultra punished. I would have drawn an extra card. They're terminating a Gurmag. I would have had this back to Chump. I mean, I can Thorn maybe come back. But now they're probably not even going to attack with Penumbra. Oh, I think that's actually a mistake from them. Because I go to 8. So I can just Fairy Seer, take the Monarch, Ninja. See if I can actually do it right this time. Made a bunch of mistakes this league, and I'm still sitting at 3-1 in the league, so we're still doing okay. Take the Monarch, draw. Fairies here. I mean, these cards are good. I feel like I need to draw the Preordain. I feel like it's too good to not draw. I think I need to play Thorn also, even though it kind of sucks. I need the blocker. Can trade with like a boarding party. You know, playing Commodore, which is interesting. Definitely gonna side in the hydros. They have cannonade, boarding party, commodore, terminate, lightning bolt, explore. Oh my god, what a brew. They're playing Explore, Bounce Land over Cleansing Wildfire. And multiple Shreks not playing Thorn. I just feel like this card is good. Yes, it closes out games, but it's just so greedy because compared to playing Thorn, this gets countered by Hydro, where Thorn doesn't get countered by Pyro or Hydro. That's just such a big difference. Plus, this deck is so grindy. Getting the 1-3 Death Touch, you don't really need to close the game quickly, but it's just my opinion, I guess. I have to block or I'm literally dead. Let's go to five. Such a bad mechanic. I think Monarch's a good mechanic for Commander, but not for Popper. I have to bottom these, but it's not going to be good enough. Chainers is not going to do it either. Penumbra Spider actually just wrecked us. I wonder if they're going to bring in like more Penumbra Spiders and go up to like four Penumbras. Are we dead on board? They have five Trample. We only have two Toughness blocking. I think we're dead on board. Okay, so they're Explore Jund. That's pretty sick. Let's 
Stormbound Geist, Hydro Blast. Relic is actually pretty good against them too. Shinobi is good. They also haven't shown, they didn't show. <laughs> nice one, Hopping Queen. Um, they, they also haven't shown Lanor Visionary yet. Duress could be decent too. Like take your removal spell or your wrath. They're also gonna have multiple um penumbra spiders. Miscreant definitely comes out. Take out some ninjas because they're gonna be killing all our stuff. Don't think I want to rest. I think I need all the snuff outs and cast downs to deal with all their stuff, all their big stuff. Spell Thunder, I guess, is pretty bad. Doesn't counter that much. Just take out one. One Chainers is probably fine. Dispel is okay. It might be better than Stutter, but I want some stuff to, you know, enable my ninjas too. All right, let's do this. Yeah, we could have the second Edict, but. Especially the more like pack mates and if they have Lanoir Visionary, Edict is not that good. Hmm. This hand's pretty bad. I think I need to just mulligan. I need to have like a tempo hand. I mean this hand's better. Put back a hydro maybe. They mulligan to six as well. Really cool brew from our opponent for sure. Okay, they're gonna bounce in. Okay, I see, I see. They're just gonna bounce in next turn. I think I just fairies here. That would have been nice to have last turn, but we didn't. Another ninja and another land. I don't think I need another ninja, but I will take a They're just gonna go bounce, float mana, bounce land, cycle Ashburns, almost certainly. When you lead on Ashburns, that's usually what you do. I am going to go. I have a couple options here. I think I want to go cycle Ashburns for Island right now. Attack, Moon Circuit, Replay, Fairy Seer. I think that's the line. I could have had another line with like Ninja of the Deep Hours, but generally I like to Moon Circuit first. Especially when this is likely to die. Another Ninja. I don't think I need a third ninja. I will take another land, I think. Even if it's a top land, I think it's good enough. That will enable a turn five thorn from us, guaranteed. Okay, cannonade. Now I can just leave up stutter and cast down and then untap and slam thorn. What did they, did they get mountain? Yeah, visionary. Let's see if they play like another bounce land. They play a Bajookabog. So now I need to hope they don't have Shrek, basically. Oh, I should. That was a small mistake. I just let them exile more stuff with Bog because I wanted to have six. Now, if I draw Gurmag, I get punished. They have the Shrek, god damn it.
And did they have like a bolt too or something? No. Yeah, that was a great draw. And I can even counter a lightning bolt if they didn't play it on their turn. Okay. Whew. Making a lot of mistakes this league. I don't I'm not happy with my play overall. Even if I end up for winning this league, I know that I haven't played that well. But that's okay. This is why we practice. Visionary, sure. I think I'm I think I am flashing in visionary or spell fitter, I mean. Or tell pack mate. Sure. See if I can tighten up my play for the rest of this match and the league. So now I want to spell stutter into ninja. Did I say spell stutter? I want a fairy seer, scry, hit with ninja, draw the card. I can also spell stutter two drops now. Okay, we want cast down. I think we do not want island. Bottom, top. Hit with just. Stutter because they could boarding party. I want a blocker for that. Ninja here. This is our game to lose, that's for sure. Use ninja ability, yes. Hmm. Let's see how much mana do they have? Three, four, five, six. They have seven with visionary. But they only have one green source right now. I feel like I should go preordain into cast down this. Maybe I can hit a snuff out here. I do. Top. Top. Now I'm in a great spot because now I can go snuff out this right now, cut them off of green sources, then I draw counter spell for monarch, and I have snuff out, or I have counter or spell setter up now. Chainer's Edict. I think I'm fine letting this resolve, right? Because then I can just continue to leave up counter against a Cannonade. Or anything else they might do. I don't really care about attacking my fairies here. Now if they just go for like pack mate, I just counter that. I don't really care about Chainer's. Another Chainers. I'm going to let these resolve. Just going to counter the pack mate, like I said. Nice. Now I feel like we should definitely win this game. They're going to need a lot to go right. Do I play Moon Circuit? I think no. Just leave up counter spells that are cast down here. Visionary. I'm going to let that resolve too and just kill it. I think I will flash in a stutter here. Helps play around to Edict too. If they flash back an Edict, then I could just let it resolve. I can also just Moon Circuit this back or Ninja of the Deep Hours this back. Gurmag, nice. I think I'm going to Moon Circuit back my Stutter. I'm going to let that resolve too. I want to just keep holding on to this counter as long as I can. I get another Ninja going here. Gonna moon circuit. Another cast down. I want to just save counter for their like big stuff, but I get to draw another card here. It's almost like a two for one. Just counter at this point.
fact that I get to draw another card right now is massive. And pass with stutter up. If all they can do is flashback changers, I can probably beat that. Oh, did I miss that again? Did they do that? Oh, oh, they went for cast down on this. I could have just ninjutsued again. Good call. Yeah, I missed it. I just totally missed that. Also, pseudo apt get nice, uh, nice name for sure. <laughs> I miss. I missed it. I just totally missed it. I'm just punting so hard, and this good deck is just carrying me. Snuff. All right, I'm going to ninja the ninja. I could ninja the Gurmag even, but I think I'd rather just hit for more damage. Mm. Actually, I could ninja this and then ninja Gurmag. I think I kind of like it. <laughs> I guess I could get... Then I could get hit by... Uh, Cannonade or something weird. I think I should just hit for seven. It's not as cool, but I think it's the play. Bottom, top. Yeah, ninjing ninja after uh, is really nice. Or are you talking about pseudo app get? <laughs> All right, let's just uh, untap here, I guess. Okay. I'm trying to throw as much as I can, I guess. But uh, I'm still, I'm still in it. Shutting down their like Pulse of Marasas, I think is pretty massive with a relic. I think it's worth it. Yeah, that was GG. Even though I made multiple mistakes, do I want the extra edict? I don't think so. I think too much removal can be bad. Let's go. Definitely want all three hydros for cannonades, boarding parties, terminates, treks, all that stuff. They snap mulligan to six. I'm going to snap keep. Hand's kind of awkward again, as usual, but they mulligan to five. I mean, they oh, they mulligan to four? I am the... They mulligan to three? I am the classic four one -er, so... No matter how many mistakes I make... Magic Online is just trying to hand me a 4-1. Like, please, you always you always 4-1, just take it. <laughs> okay, they have two cards in hand right now. That's brutal. Ice Tunnel, go. Bounce Lands help you get out of bad mulligans, but mulligan to three is just brutal. Let's go Fairies here, plus another tap lane. I don't need to get Relic down. I'd rather get my tap lands down. Bottom pop. I think if I just keep hitting land drop, I'm just going to win. Chainer's Edict. They concede. Yeah. Unfortunate for the opponent there. That's for sure. Again, I did not play well. Um, but I think this deck is really good. Is this deck better than the standard version of Fae? Maybe. So, again, is this better than the standard version of Blue Black Bay? I'm not sure. It felt really good. Being able to... <laughs> being, being able to just um, play the early miscreants like that it, into ninjas is really nice. Plus, you get to play more ninjas. Like, I really like this... I really like this deck. So uh, I think no changes. I don't know what you would want to change on the sideboard. The sideboard already has a bunch of really good cards in it. 
So I'm not really sure how you change it. Ambusher is kind of suspect, but there's a lot of burn and black red burn in the format. So I think that's good, especially it gets better since we have the eight one drop phase. So yeah, GG's. So that'll do it for this YouTube video. Thanks so much. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Again, youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe even if you don't watch YouTube. It's the best way to support me. So thank you for doing that. And uh, we'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace.